Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Could swim sort of before I could walk, really. I, I was born into a family of swimmers that was heavily in, involved with the professional swimming community here in Australia. So sort of the first thing I remember being good at as a young kid. I think everybody in their life has that moment in which they realize they have an affinity for something. My initial dream was to swim into my 20s and have a, a swimming career and then retire and pursue music after that for the rest of my life. That whole plan kind of flipped on its head. I was offered some, you know, really once in a lifetime opportunities at a young age from, you know, the sort of following I'd sort of built online, just posting videos of me playing guitar and singing you know, when I was like 12 years old. So I was given opportunities that I couldn't turn down. will always be there for me and I can I can tour and I can do all those things until I'm an old man but you can only swim for a certain amount of years so I wanted to to see what I could do the desire to, to swim again never faded and and the fire sort of stayed softly burning within me until I had to kind of pick it up it was a matter of not wanting to deal with any what-ifs in my life and having no regrets set out from the very beginning in order to, to try and make the Olympics eventually one day, like to make the Australian team for the Paris Olympics. I certainly didn't know then when I started that, you know, within two years I'd be on an Australian team. But the, the progression I made was, I suppose, in, in the scheme of things, quite rapid in, you know, the amount of time it usually takes to get to that level in the sport. I didn't ease into it, really. We weren't cautious about trying to build up slowly and my coach had me doing things that I definitely wasn't ready to do at the times I was doing them. But I just loved that grind and it all like became worth it to me in that moment when I got that selection. possible to not have swum like 10k a day from the age of like eight years old to be at an elite level. I'd love to inspire more kids to get into it and if that's all I ever do for swimming is try and bring some more eyeballs to it then I, I feel like I've done part of, part of my job because I love it and I want more people to love it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.